this is this is crazy. I, I couldn't believe when I saw this. The FBI is being mobilized. Uh, the Biden administration uh, was working with Attorney General Mark um, General uh, Merrick Garland. And um, I'll, I'll just show you. I, I first saw this from Christopher Rufo, who posted it. Uh, and this is his original tweet. And I'm going to read you this letter. Attorney General Merrick Garland has instructed the FBI to mobilize against parents who oppose critical race theory in public schools, citing threats. The letter follows the National School Board Association's request to classify protests as domestic terrorism. You are now a domestic terrorist if you don't want your child s subjected to critical race theory, which by the way, is incredibly racist. Incredibly racist. And you know what? Before I even get into this, this was from uh, James Lindsay, Conceptual James on Twitter. And he talks about critical social justice, which is essentially what this is. And I want to just, it's a minute and 30 seconds long. I want to play it for you. So the social movement that's best described as critical social justice tends to use language in specialized ways. They use a lot of jargon. And one of the terms that they like to use is equity. So I'm writing an entire encyclopedia on newdiscourses.com called Translations from the Wokish, a social justice encyclopedia. And I'm James Lindsay to help you break this down. So let's talk about equity for a second. Equity means redistribution. It means redistribution and it also means reparations. I'm just going to put it out there from the beginning. Uh, it is a program that is meant to redress. They say that it's about creating a quality of access, which is a difference from a quality of opportunity. But the way that they can tell if there's a quality of access is if there are a quality of outcomes on average by identity group. So it's in effect a way to manipulate the situation so that they can come out with equal outcomes. And if those outcomes aren't quite equal yet, they have to manipulate the situation some more and manipulate it some more in order to get equal outcomes. No, but not. more than that, to achieve equity and further to achieve what they would say is justice, we we have to go even further than just getting equal access as measured by equal outcomes. We have to actually re make re uh, reparations or redresses for past injustices. We have to pay back the sins, the sins of, of the past in order to get to a point of equity. So equity is the redistribution of resources, which is to say that it's something pretty close to Marxism. And if you want to understand more about equity and these other specialized terms in the critical social justice movement, please visit newdiscourses.com and check out translations from the Wokish. So I actually have, let me show you guys that. It's a, it's a pretty good website. You could check it out, newdiscourses.com. Um, and shout out to James Lindsay. I, I've met the man. He's, he's very nice. And he is constantly fighting against uh, communism, Marxism, critical race theory, which is absolutely racist. I know that uh, Carlin and I have uh, had a, many discussions about it. Um, you know, is it anti-white? Is it anti is is it just simply racist and i think just yes yes and yes it's anti everyone uh for certain it makes white people the the bad guys that everyone can blame for um everything which is just in, in it's just crazy that they're now uh so if you're against that right if you're against your schools teaching this to your children you are now a domestic terrorist Look at this letter. Okay. Office of the, you know, let me, uh, let me open this up so I can zoom in a little bit for you guys. Okay. It's from the office of the attorney general memorandum for the director, FBI director, executive office, um, from mayor Garland in recent months, there has been a disturbing spike in harassment, intimidation, threats of violence against school administrators, board members, teachers, and staff who participate in the vital work of running our nation's public schools. While spirited debate about policy matters is protected under our Constitution, that protection does not extend to the threats of violence or efforts to intimidate individuals based on their views. Oh my gosh. I, right, I'm just going to read this because there's so many different things I want to bring up about the left attacking different people. I mean, look at Kavanaugh. They showed up at his house to because they don't like his views. Intimidating. S someone sitting on the Supreme Court. Hello? Uh, no, I'm going to talk about it right now. It's absolutely insane. 
What about that girl that was in the bathroom? Um, Christy Cinema. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Here's Jezebel saying, absolutely bully her outside of her bathroom stall. Of course, they also were saying, how dare MTG target AOC? It's dangerous. It's all a matter of who you're fighting for, what narrative you're pushing. Because if you're a Democrat, you can get away with anything. You can burn down our cities. You can straight up kill people. And it's okay because it's for racial justice, racial equity, which we all know is, is bullshit. All right? It is. And now they're getting the FBI to call them out and be, they're now domestic terrorists if they're against it, citing threats. Where were you in the summer of love last summer, huh? When they were, even small towns had their businesses boarded up because they didn't want people burning their livelihoods down. What was left of it after the pandemic hit, right? Because everything was closed. And then they started burning down the rest of the stuff that was open. Let's continue reading, though. Threats against public servants are not only illegal, they run counter to our nation's core values. Oh, so it's it's illegal? So why is this tweet by Jezebel up? It is still up, by the way. Telling people to bully Kristen Sinema in the bathroom. She was there. Uh, she was at a college to speak, and they were assaulting her in a bathroom. While she was in the stall, chanting with a phone out, recording. Have some sense of decency. Oh, wait, what's that? The FBI is saying, well, if you're against critical race theory, you're the actual terrorist that we need to now mobilize against. Those who dedicate their time and energy to ensuring that our children receive a proper education in a safe environment deserve to be able to do their work without fear for their safety. I agree with that. Actually, I agree. Everyone should be able to live without fear and and ha uh, fear for their safety. Everyone. That's how that should be across the board. That should be a baseline. In fact, that is a baseline. That's what I think already. That's baseline. Everyone should live without fear of their safety. Right. I want that for everyone. Even the leftists. Even I don't care. Everyone. I want that for everyone. I want everyone to feel safe and have a happy, comfortable life. Period. The department takes these incidences seriously and is committed to using its authority and resources to discourage these threats, identify them when they occur, and prosecute them when appropriate. In the coming days, the department will announce a series of measures designed to address the rise in criminal con conduct towards, uh, directed towards school personnel. Coordination and partnership with local law enforcement is critical to implementing these measures for the benefit of the nation's nearly 14,000 public school districts. To this end, I am directing the FBI working with each United States attorney to convene meetings with federal, state, to local, tribal, and territorial leaders, leaders in each federal jurisdiction district within 30 days of the issuances of this memorandum. These meetings will facilitate the discussion of strategies for addressing threats against school administrators, board members, teachers, and staff, and will open dedicated lines of communication for threat reporting, assessment, and response. The department is steadfast in its commitment to protect all people in the United States from violence, threats of violence, and other forms of intimidation and harassment. All right, well, that last line I already know is, is a lie. It's BS. I mean, I, I've watched people assault others. I'm talking about Antifa. I've watched them attack Trump supporters. They straight up killed a Trump supporter. Yeah. And then, of course, he brandished a gun and, and basically died by suicide to cops. Uh, granted, the story is um, changed. However, whoever, whatever side you're talking to. But as I just shown with uh, this this image of them her coming out of the bathroom i mean they were being assaulted how this is on twitter this is breaking twitter's terms of service as well right but now we just heard from the fbi that or from merrick garland uh that it's actually uh just simply illegal they can't do that oh do you really care about all people of the united states or just the democrats just the people that follow your narrative 
because that's the vibe I'm getting. They don't care, nor, or do they care about the parents who should have the ultimate authority on what their kids are taught. I'm going to be a part of my kids' lives. Whatever they learn in school, I want to know exactly what they're learning. I'm going to discuss it with them. So they go in to any conversation, anything that they learn with a stronger base to deal with this kind of stuff. But it shouldn't be taught anyway. Critical race theory is racist. It teaches that white people are somehow the problem and black people can't get by. People of color are just held down you're you're not good enough because of some imaginary person out there it's not me i'm not doing anything to these people i'm working hard for what i do and that's that's the only thing i can do and that's what everyone should be taught how to do not taught that well white people are holding you down no they're not you're holding yourself down if you want to work if you want something if you want to save for something if you want to start a business don't waste your money. Focus on that and do nothing but that. And you will be successful, period. Critical race theory is a division. It's a it's a, a wedge in between the people of America. And now they're saying that they're standing for the people of America while implementing something that is driving America apart. It's very sad to see this. Because this is uh, the Attorney General of, of America. And they're standing behind critical race theory. Which is just... It's disgusting. It, harassment, intimidation, threats of violence. What about the actual violence, huh? Mr. Garland, huh? What about that? What about the people who were actually being assaulted? Just the other day. All last summer. For for so long. Donald Trump, look at him. He's He was being harassed and berated for years as soon as he basically announced he was going to be a Republican instead of a Democrat. Absolutely disgusting. This is from Schoolhouse Rights. I, I, I saw it and I really liked it. It's the same paper I just read to you. It's just, um, if you are a parent, do not talk to the FBI or nice men who come to your house with innocent questions. Ask for their identities and cards. Offer to speak the, to them through an attorney. Then tell them to get off your lawn. Then call an attorney and keep yelling at school board meetings. Thank you. Well said. Well said. If you are a parent, I think that's good advice. I'm not a lawyer. Um, I know some, but I think we need to be very, uh, aware of what's happening right now. They are taking the rights away from the parents. They want, like, it's not Nancy Pelosi said, our, our children, they're not your children, Nancy, you terrible wench. Um, they're the parents' children. They're the only people who should be able to decide. Like Gavin Newsom's trying to put that bill forward where kids can get, transgender mutilation without their parents even knowing before they turn 18. That's just disgusting. Don't mess with the kids. Stop messing with the kids. I, I you know, it's that I'm going to be a father soon. I, I'm like, I'm feeling that energy of like wanting to protect. You know, I, I can't help it. Because if I had a child that was involved in any of this stuff, I would be flipping out. I would be at that school board yelling at these people maybe it will be me one day i don't know 